Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we have a TCL 20 XE smartphone, and this device does indeed have the Google Lock enabled because as we're going through the setup steps here, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset, and to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen pin lock that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll pull up the secondary option where we can also sign in with the previous Google account that was on the device in order to be able to continue and get through the rest of the setup. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then, of course, after the purchase, the buyer discovered the device was locked, and in those cases, the seller has unfortunately usually long since disappeared, since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here today to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. The procedure is something that we do directly directly to the phone while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So, as you guys could see very clearly, the device was on the Google lock screen, and then I just powered it off and plugged it into my computer program here that goes ahead and takes care of that lock for us. Now that that's done and the device has restarted, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google lock. So, it's going to first bring us here to connecting to a mobile network, which we're just going to skip because we don't need that. And then it says getting ready, so we're just going to sit here and wait while it does its thing. And actually, whoops. Trying to make it go back to the Wi-Fi screen because it goes a lot faster if we turn that off, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me. Okay, so we'll just forget about that. We won't copy any apps or data. And now on this screen, you'll notice that the message has changed and it's now prompting us to be able to sign in with any Google account instead of previously or requiring the previous account that was on it. We don't need an account right now at this time, so we're just gonna skip it to be able to get through the rest of the setup steps just to ensure that we can get all the way to the home screen. We've ingredient the Google services, and we don't need a fingerprint unlock, so we're going to skip that along with face unlock also. And then we're just going to choose that. And then for software updates. And then uh, we're just going to skip that too. And there's finish. Oop, I agree. One more thing. Okay. Oh, nope. Okay, we're going to skip that too. All right, there we go. We are all the way through the setup steps. We're at the home screen here and have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna pop into the settings real quick just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we open up the settings and then go down to system, 
and then go to about phone, we can indeed see that we have a TCL 20 XE and then, ah, it's on the previous screen where it actually shows the model number. So under system, when you're looking at about phone there, it says 5087Z. So that is the specific model number of this device that we're working with here. So if you have one of these TCL 20 XEs with the Google lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact info will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.